knitted some Christmas stockings and now you'd like to personalize them. I'm going to show you an easy way to add a name right up here using duplicate stitch. Here's how we do it. To add a name to the top of the stocking, you first need to chart out the name that you want to add. And I do this on a on my iPad using an app called Knitting Chart. All of my stocking patterns though do have multiple copies of the grid where the name goes. These stockings are all 72 stitches around, so one half of the stocking is 36 stitches. So this chart is 36 stitches wide and it is 11 stitches tall. The name is going to leave a buffer of two rows before and after the name. And in this particular one, the beginning of the first letter, this little square right here is eight stitches in from the end. So I like to mark that on my stocking just using a little safety pin. And you wanna look and just make sure that it's laying correctly. I always do mine so the toe is pointing to the right when I'm looking at it. But you might check your other stockings that you have to make sure they're all going the same direction. So I'm gonna count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'm gonna put this right here. So it's on the third row up from where the pattern starts and it's eight stitches in. And this will actually be on the ninth stitch. So when we do this, we get a length of yarn. Um, don't leave it connected to the ball, you wanna cut it. And I don't get a super long piece of yarn. I usually go for about 36 inches. When I try and go longer than that, I end up having knots when I'm pulling things through. So I'd rather um, have to work in a few extra ends and not have to fight with the yarn as I'm, as I'm adding the name. So on the next row, we are going to, with our tapestry needle, come in from the back right at the bottom of the V. Hold that up a little bit closer to make sure that you can all see that right in the bottom of the V. And we don't want to split any stitches, so you may have to move things around. So you're going to come in from the bottom. And I like to start at the bottom. I think it always looks a little bit neater that way. And we're just going to mimic the stitch. So we're going to go under the two bars from the next stitch, pull that through. And then we'll go back down through the same hole that we came in at the beginning. Just adjust things a little bit. You don't want it sticking out a lot higher than the other stitches around it, but you also don't want it to be pulling tighter than the stitches. So we'll do the next one, coming in at the bottom of the V. We'll come up then and go through the two loops of the stitch above. And then back down through the same hole. Okay. So that's two stitches done. This is actually seven stitches high, the beginning of this E for Ellie. And so we'll continue that way all up that column. And then I, when I get to the bottom or the 
middle arm of the E, I may go on out there, but you just work from the bottom up to the top. I could have started here and gone across and then up, across, come back and then across. So however makes the most sense to you, but always work from the bottom to the top. So that is how you personalize a Christmas stocking. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.